Hello everybody. In this video, we will compare uh, most of the famous programming languages by their performance and some extra things. So we have this couple of programming languages as you can see on the screen. Okay, so we have all the famous uh, programming languages covered, and we will uh, we will uh, what you can say uh, use their time and memory parameter to find their uh, performance. We have also one lines of code parameter which is not that uh, uh, relevant over here, but still I have just put it over here. So I will be using Code Chef Competitive Programming uh, website. Okay, so it, they have their own compiler which uh, tells us about the time of execution and me the memory utilized. Okay, so for simplicity, I am using the beginner level, right? Because most of the enthusiast uh, in all these languages uh, at least have code written in the beginner level. They may not have written in these levels. Okay, so let's go over here and see the difficulties. Okay, so we will go to the highest difficulty. Actually, I have already selected the what you can say this uh, code like th th there is a Blitz Z3 kit table, right? I have selected Blitz Z32 and Kepler's law. There are two programs, okay? And we will be comparing all the languages based on uh, that. So first, we will go in the Blitz Z3, and you can see there is a question over here. We will go to the submission section. This is the compiler. Okay, so in the submission sector, we can see view all submissions. So we can go over here and we can see there are different people who have uh, given the solutions and these are their performances. We will go to all correct. Okay, so all the correct programs will only come and we will select the language like C, which is first in our list. And uh, we will only took, uh, take in consideration the top three solutions. So you can see over here. It is taking 0 0.03 seconds. So we will write over here 0 0.03 seconds. And you can see the memory utilization is 5.3 megabytes. Okay, it is capital B megabytes. 5.3 megabytes. And the lines of code, we can just see the uh, code uh, as well. So you can see it is taking 13 lines of code. Okay, so we will, for simplicity, take the last line like 13 where the code ends. Doesn't matter if it is just a bracket or anything. 13 lines of code. Okay, right. So similarly, we will do it for all the programming languages. So I will I am pausing the video and I will show you the final screen. Okay, so as you can see, I have noted all the parameters for all the programming languages. Okay, based on this, you can also check it out. I will uh, give the link in the in the description. So you can check for all the languages from Python 3, C++, Java, C Sharp, Ruby and many more. Okay, so let me just minimize it and expand this. So based on the result, what I found is this, as you can see over here. Okay, so you can see in, uh, in time, C is still the dominant one. It, it takes a very little time and in memory also it is the best. In lines of code, it is uh, the second. It comes at the second place, okay. And uh, if you can see in memory, the first one Rust is also good. In lines of code, Python actually wins, and C is just second. C sharp is also second, but this is only for the program one. Now we will compare it for program number two. For the time, the first one is C, and then there is a lot of other languages like C plus plus. Ruby, uh, Rust, and Golang. In memory, C is again the winner, uh, followed by C++ and uh, Rust. In lines of code, uh, we have Python is still the winner. It still took eight lines only, and Kotlin is also the it's the runner up. Okay, so you can uh, analyze based on these results, and you can check it. I will give the link in the description. So what is my conclusion? So the best performing performative languages is uh, C, C++ definitely, Python 3, you can see, and Ruby, Rust, and Golang. And if uh, I should rank them, then I will say C is the first, followed by C++. Then there's a tie between Rust and Golang for the third place, and also the Ruby, actually, yes, 
if you can see all the uh, factors it is very much close to rust and golang and so there is a tie between ruby rust and golang and at the fourth comes the python 3 so based on this analysis what language you should not be taking okay so it, you can just compare it and you can find out that java in both the programs uh, was comparatively the not so good okay so you can see you should not be using java or kotlin which is almost similar and little bit enhanced uh, but uh, still it doesn't matter you should you can use java because uh, there are hundred of languages and uh, if you compare with that hundred languages of top 50 languages java comes in the top 10 languages for sure beating lots of other languages but when you compare with this spectrum then i think java fails over here uh, right you can use c sharp uh, uh, instead of java or python php ruby ruby is i, I think ruby is a clear winner if you if you ask for the overall performance and lots of other use case ruby is that's why i think ruby is growing day by day so that's what uh, that was my analysis thanks for watching do comment